Um, we definitely showed great improvement from one to two, and you're supposed to do that, um, you know, from week one to week two. And, you know, you, you got to always be pleased when we don't punt. Um, and, you know, we did a lot of really good things. Uh, I was pleased with the way our tempo uh, played. Um, you know, getting upwards to 85 to 90 plays was a plus. Um, I think that helped us, uh, especially in the running game. Uh, I think P and tens or throwing the ball in early downs and, and making some plays helped that as well. Um, and then, you know, just in general, guys, I think, played a little harder, were a little more physical, and, and we made plays. We've said it for a while. We had 17 explosive plays, which is a really good number. And guys made plays. You look at the first touchdown. I mean, we're sitting in a third and five. If we don't convert, we're second drive to start the game. We didn't get any points. And Sean keeps the play alive. Carry on makes a great effort play, and we score a touchdown. And that kind of, I think, loosened everybody up and got everything going. Uh, we made some other throws and catches with Tony and Sean or uh, Cameron Petway on a run, making a guy miss. Just guys making some plays, and you got to do that. You got to make some plays sometimes with outside the framework. So, from that standpoint, you know, I was really pleased. Thought we did some really good things there uh, against a pretty good football team. But you you alluded to it. You know, turning over on the first drive of the game, and uh, getting close to the red area. We can't have that. Fourth and one, really less than one. It's about a half a yard. And we get stuffed pretty good there. And then there was a couple drives that, you know, we finished with field goals, but we should have got seven. And so um, we showed great improvement. A lot of young guys played, which is good. Got good reps. So they got a lot of them got the newness out and got a little better. Um, but we still got a lot of work to do. Rich, you, you brought up the effort play that, you know, carry on scored on. Mm -hmm. But that was the same play where Sean, that guy who flipped him, got up. And, and carry on mentioned, you know, hey, we see our, lead, our quarterback out there, lead block. Yeah, he didn't block a soul. Yeah, you, you'd much rather say whoa than, you know, sick him. And um, I just – I thought Sean competed very well. I thought he played really hard. I think that's a ex – that play is an example of how he plays the game and how he played last night uh, to get up off the mat and, and try to lead the way down there anyways. He was he was directing traffic more than he was blocking people, but – and he was there to celebrate at the end. But – and I think that's what his teammates love about him. And so, yeah, I mean – I don't want him to try to go in there and take out the defensive lineman in that process, but I'm, I'm glad he shows that kind of effort. Did you see him maybe make more plays with his feet, especially in early downs, just kind of get even better situations? On yeah, what I thought he did well is he trusted his instincts. You know, we dropped back to pass, I think the first times we had four verticals in a tempo situation, and it wasn't bad protection. He could have slid up and probably delivered the ball, but he slid up, saw a lane, he ran it, got eight or nine yards. Uh, another time we had a play on a, I think it was a second down, he steps up, scrambles for 20. You know, I think when he does that, that really loosens a lot of things up. And so, um, you know, he showed some confidence in his ability to make some plays with his feet, and that's big. We need that. Um. You know, I think I'd like to think we executed well. Uh, I wouldn't say great because we left some out there. You know, you got to play right before half when it's a tough situation because you're trying to make a quick throw or, or at least get an incompletion so you can get the points. Uh, the home run post in the second half. And we had a couple we left out there throwing and catching. We'd maybe dropped one or two. But uh, we were crisper. We worked really hard on throwing the ball last week. Um, that was part of our plan in that game. And, um, you know, overall, he did a nice job throwing the ball. And I, I think that's probably just the standpoint of knowing, hey, I've got the support. I'm the guy. I've got, um, you know, I've had a lot of reps with these guys, and he just played with confidence. And we're going to have to do that to, uh, to stay balanced every game. Uh, they improved. They played much better. Um, I think we were more physical. We had more knockdowns. We had more what Coach Han calls intimidation blocks. We drove some guys. Um, you know, so we were able to, I think, kind of balance out the downhill and perimeter yards in the run game enough to help our guys out. Um, but we did some good things. Um, there's still plays like the fourth and one that just stick out in your head. Like, you know, we got to be able to get a half a yard. Um, and a couple plays early on that they, and credit to Arkansas State now, they were playing downhill and they were, they were making it difficult, but we played better in pass protection. You know, we gave up the one sack that, you know, the amount of times we threw the ball, that's about average. So we, we did fine there, but we, we still can be better. And, and against the opponents we're about to face, um, no disrespect to who we just played, because I think that's probably about as good a D-line as you're going to see in the Sun Belt. 
we're going to have to be better, especially in pass pro. And so we just got to continue to improve. I don't think so. You know, those guys have been going against Carl Lawson since fall camp started. They go every week. Um, you know, coach may have a plan to do that. But we go enough good on good on Tuesday and Wednesday in a normal practice. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we've already played a really good opponent like Clemson. Um, but these guys are playing really well. This, this A&M bunch is, is playing really well. Can you talk about Tony Stevens' game? Yep. It'd be huge, you know. I mean, you got a senior guy we know has a lot of ability, and we've said before, just consistency. I thought he came up big. He made a, uh, you know, a big opening catch to start the game, got us going. Big uh, third down uh, throw and catch with him and Sean, and then he made a move and ran for a touchdown. Him and Sean made that play late. I mean, Tony did some really good things. You know, what I liked the most about Tony, though, wasn't his four catches for 70-whatever yards and two touchdowns, but he played better without the ball. Um, his effort was good. He was trying to be physical. He did get the holding call. He just got to get his elbows inside and let go. No one to let go, but he was trying to be physical. He was trying to play with great effort, so we can work with that. So that's what I was most proud about. What do you like most about the way Kyle's kind of handled things since he got on campus? It seemed like he's pretty – he's coming along quickly. I like that catch the most. You know, that catch was pretty good. Um, you know, Kyle, he caught the ball, popped up, handed the ball to the official, acted like he'd been there before. You know, he's – um, he's still learning, trying to play a little catch up, you know, from just knowing the whole scheme and the system. But, um, you know, he's a guy that just goes out and plays. The moment's not too big, obviously, to go up and make a big play. He's made one in each of the first two games. So hopefully we can continue that trend. Mitch, do you feel like yesterday was the best game the receivers have ever had? Do you think you've been looking for that? Hmm. Having eight different players, not including two running backs. Right. You know, I don't know. Um, it may be. Uh, what I know is you had a lot of unselfish guys, um, you know, being great team players. It's just like I said, we've got to be a great team offense. We spread the ball around to eight different guys, and but a bunch of those guys had two-plus catches. Um, and that's just when you can run the offense. And wherever the offense takes the read and the ball, that's who makes the play. That's how it's designed to work. And so uh, we just got through talking to them now. I, I don't know who the star is going to be. There may not be one. It may be a different guy each week, and that's fine. Um, they played a, well, a, a pretty good game. The Loafs and, and Mr. Simons were down, and uh, but we can be better. And so, you know, that's just kind of all you're really chasing is that continual improvement week to week. I didn't know he had. So I guess because it's a small sample size. What what were that we were seven for seven in the red zone last night? So um, did we? What were we worse last night? You know I don't I don't know. Um, I know last evening we were good. So hopefully then we've improved in whatever the area was we were deficient. Red, you talk about kind of rhythm and tempo and mm -hmm. something that the quarterback is always important. Seeing Sean kind of get into that last night, did it make you as a you know thinking about offense knowing that hey we need to get him started early? Yeah, I mean, it gives you confidence. Uh, you go out and play well, and the guys catch the ball and make some plays for him. I mean, let's get, make no mistake, those guys made some plays. He had a lot of time, and, and we ran the ball well, and that helped. So it all works together. But, um, yeah, sure, you always like to get your quarterback off to a good start. You mentioned Jalen Harris after the opener. I'm curious, in the game you put up 700 plus yards, did he still grade out well you know, Saturday? Is he somebody you got the tight end spots you, you maybe have some consistency with? I think, I think so. Um, I think as the season goes on, there's potential to use him more. Um, he did some good things with his hand down last night uh, in some of our pro sets. Uh, he played even some H-back in the second half, too. And so um, he's much better this year than he was last year, which is good. He's shown good improvement. So we just got to keep bringing him along because he's going he's gonna to play every week. So how much we use him may determine more on the game plan than him, you know, but he's getting better. You know, the best thing, we just let those guys play. And we probably played more wideouts, you know, to the question over here earlier. From We probably played more wideouts in one game than we ever have. We were rolling units. You know, after two or three series, all right, let's let the young guys go play a series. And so I think when you look at it, all those guys played. I think Tony and Darius Slayton played like 51 and 55 snaps. That was the most. We didn't have another guy. I mean, we didn't have anybody playing 60, 70, 80 snaps. We had a lot of guys playing 20, 25, 35. So it keeps them fresher. So when they're in there, they can play harder. 
Um, and a lot of that was because we just let the young guys play from uh, the receivers to those two running backs. Um, and there's two reasons you do that. One, we think they can help us win this year. I um, think they're really talented guys, so they just need to continue. The best way they can get better is to play the game. But two, you never know when you're going to have an injury. It may be week six or seven. All of a sudden, not only are they playing, they're playing in a more prominent role. Well, you don't want that to be the first time to get meaningful reps. And so it's just part of the development process. I think I was told, I haven't looked this up myself, but I was told we played 36 freshmen yesterday, true freshmen or redshirt freshmen on the whole team. You know, I think that just speaks a lot of the volumes to what Coach Miles is trying to do, get these young guys in there and let's play them. And, uh, and they're all contributing and doing some good things. You know, Jalen and Chandler um, will continue to do what they're doing. Sweeney does factor into the mix. Um, he's always been a guy that we know is very reliable, real smart. He knows the system. And uh, so we feel okay about our depth there. And um, that's just kind of how we'll proceed until we have to change plans. I know you moved on uh, since then, but that one got me. I mean, when you bring it up, yeah. Um, you know, all I know is it's we seem to have had success there, and they've had success here, and uh, they're a powerful, explosive offense. And then on defense, they got you know arguably the best combination of pass rushers there are. Uh, they got a phenomenal defensive coordinator. I mean, one of the the best to ever, you know, coach at our level. And um, they're gonna have a great plan, and uh, it's gonna come down to again who's gonna make the plays. Um, so. That 14 game has no bearings on this, and really a lot of the guys playing aren't even here. So um, we just got to go out and try to, again, make the same jump from week two to three that we made from week one to two. That'll be key. With the way Sean played and kind of developed into a rhythm with him got the offense rolling, any regret to not letting him have that chance against Clemson, you know, settle in? No, I'm just glad we played well last night, and um, it's really all we're focusing on because that's all we can worry about right now. He, he did play better, you know, he did. And you could tell there were some things that we focused on last week. Coach Han wanted him to improve on. He improved in those areas. So there's still plenty of work to be done, but I think he was more comfortable. Uh, we didn't have any kind of communication issues or anything like that. And again, when you see a guy, there was points made to him throughout the week, you got to get better. And then he addresses that and gets better. Then that, that shows at least progress. So that always is a good sign. What do you think about John Franklin's, uh, how he played in the fourth quarter? Uh, he's fast. And um, so I thought he, I thought he was more comfortable in his time in this game than he was in the first game, which was good, um, you know. And so just continue to try to bring him along. And I know he's confident. He had a really good week of practice throwing the ball last week, and um, so we'll just continue that progression this week.